Hello guys, Jaguar Singh back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will continue with the plane and complete with the fuselage in whichever way possible. So let's get started. So in today's video I will show you in detail how to make a proper fuselage instead of whichever way we use either is multi-section, adaptive sweep or sweep. I'm just going to stick to the basic which is the multi-section and show you how I will be making the entire fuselage and continue with the wings this time and in other future videos I will just continue with that as well so just be in touch and let's see how it goes so now we already made the fuselage completely as far as I remember yes we did we have the surface if I just want to take the surface and unhide it I think this is the one that we need yeah this looks pretty comfortable I mean it's pretty okay to use this as a fuselage and it looks pretty good it's till the point to the point I would say more or less so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with the wing right away rather than spending more and more time on the fuselage because it's almost complete so now the next step is to make the wings so the wings have different profiles you can see that different wings will have different profiles according to whatever planes they are and this one is pretty obvious what we are going to do is there are two to three different ways of doing the same thing again I would personally recommend using the simple features rather than going too complicated if you are just working as a beginner I will show you all the ways but in this way I'm just going to show you the most common and most simple way that majority of the people would be using it had, and that's still the multi-section surface it's nothing wrong with using multi-section but it's very restrictive in terms of many shapes and size if you want to modify the features in future so what I'm going to do is I can see that okay this fuselage wings are going inside the plane which is also in practical that the wings are attached within the plane and they are immense inside if you go in further in detail so let, let me check if I can show it to you uh, wings installed in plane if I can find any image right here how are the wings attached to the plane Well, they're not showing the exact procedure. This looks kind of familiar. I can search how are wings. Yeah, there we can see. It's more or less something like this, I would say. We have a wing box which is basically immersed within the plane itself. Which holds it. If I can see it properly. Okay, this is something which we don't want to see. Yeah, this is a picture right here. So, some of the portion of the wing just go inside the plane itself. And that's why it is very stiff and rigid in the pop in the middle. It's basically the wing box, the center wing box. And also just to let you guys know that the entire wing is filled of fuel, which is around like as far as I remember the total amount is around twenty one hundred gallon. Entire the wing box and both the wings. More or less than that. Anyways, so what I meant by saying is that we can also make a plane which is starting right in the middle irrespective of how the shape shape is going to look like because when we are going to design we are just going to see what is going to be attached through the fuselage and outside of it not the inside so we can also get rid of it later on if we don't want to so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a sketch but more than that I'm just going to hide this for a while so that I can make a profile of the wing if I want to 
So here you can see that there is a wing tip. If I want to in future I can make the wing going up as well. But for now I'm just going to keep it simple so that I don't confuse myself and also I don't have any errors. So what I'm going to do is just trying to keep it simple I'm just going to make a simple profile using the sketch nothing complicated you can see it's very blur right now so it's I'm just going to guesstimate how it's going to look like so that almost every wing tip is something like this I'm not going to make it touch with the horizontal line I'm just going to keep a small space so that I have a little bit of opening at the end which is generally there in some of the planes you can see and then I can do the same thing for the lower as well like here something like this yeah something like this I would say and I exit out this is one way but you can see that it's very off from where we want to so I'm just going to correct it again so you need to make sure that everything you do is based on alignment. Alignment is the main thing. If the alignment is not there then it's easy to mess up. What I generally prefer is if you're not sure about the alignment, the best thing is you exit out, you choose a point, you don't need many portions, just choose a point, choose this as a plane, the flat and just drag wherever you can see for more accuracy click on normal view and just like I can choose this point because I know that my wing profile is going to start somewhere here and it's going to end somewhere here so the second point goes here till right here and that's perfect so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to project a plane onto it for that I'm going to offset a plane to those points so that it makes my life easier. Offset this to this particular point right here. Click OK. So now I can use this point as a projection if I need to. So now I'm just going to make a projection sketch. And projection point is this right here. And click OK. Perfect. So there we are. So we have one point as well. I'm just going to extract this, extract this point, make it construction, click OK. And there we have it. So I'm just going to use the curve. Just going to make sure where the point was. Okay, the point is somewhere here. Yeah, because of that focus off, I'm not able to see it. Now it's better. So I know that I, I have to end somewhere here. Yep, that looks okay. I'm just keeping a small distance vertically, just to be for my my point of view. I can select this point alone but it's going to select the entire curve that's no problem that's okay I'm going to do the similar thing for the bottom as well just going to make a simple looking surface right here somewhere that's good enough you can make it look more aesthetic if you want to it all depends on whatever the shape actually is I'm not sure about that. It depends on plane to plane. For now, I'm just going to keep anything that comes into my mind. I mean, it's not perfect or ideal. But yes, we will go on different, different improvements of how to make this plane better and better every time. So now, what I personally would do is I can see that, okay, this is the line that comes right here. Again, two ways of making it. Either you can just make a profile on this particular plane and then you can just trace it. Or you can just make a simple line and project it straight and then add a fillet later on. 
which I don't re recommend really because it can be slightly confusing so what I generally do is I'm just going to make another plane right here I'm going to offset a plane with my XY plane and I'm just going to choose the same point that I used I'm going to offset it right there that's better so now what I'm going to do the same thing make a projection sketch projection sketch on the plane and make a projection point the same projection point is good enough well you can reverse V uh, you can swap it and reverse V then just to make sure yeah that looks better so now you can just have the entire line from the projections if you want to click on projection I'm just going to use the curvature first there we go all right looks better now a straight line will work as well yep and, and it's pretty close to what we look you can see that it's more or less what we want now I'm just going to try tangency if it works it's going to affect the formation or even better there we go it, it is almost perfect for, for what we are looking for and similarly we can do the same thing for the back side as well but at the back you need to have a look that we have created a created an opening so there, there are two openings until or unless we have a closed surface at the end then we can do it then we can just make one single line and just use the multi section but in this case it's going to be slightly different so that's why uh, I would personally recommend that once you're done with this either you can make each profile top and the bottom individually in two different sketches and then use the multi section or you can later on what I will be doing is extract both of them individually and then use the multi section separately what I mean by that is I will show you just right now and that is I'm going to make another sketch another plane just like I did now I'm just going to offset it from this plane as well I can do that not a problem onto this point I'm going to click OK I'm going to make a projection sketch positioning sketch on the projection point which is this one right here make sure you I'm going to swap it and reverse B looks better click OK I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did make a profile yep looks good and till here somewhere here looks better I'm going to exit out perfect so now I have one surface for, for, uh, for the top wing and then I'm going to do a similar thing for the bottom wing as well I know it looks like a, a lot of work but it's one of the easiest way of not messing up too much and not making a lot of mistakes just focus on making the, on choosing the right points I'm going to do the same thing position sketch projection point is going to be this swap it and reverse V I mean you generally don't need to swap it and reverse V but that's what I prefer to do in order to make life easier for myself because if I just let it stay the way it is it's going to show a little bit different of the positioning of the sketch instead of my sketch normally being this way it's going to be the other way so it might be confusing for me to make the sketches on that so now I have whatever I need I'm just going to hide this section which I don't need so right now I have I'm just going to hide this as well so I have one sketch which have both the profiles I'm going to extract one of them so now if I try to do the multi section which is going to be under the shape and generative shape design which is right here multi section surface now I can choose the surface which is this one and guiding curves this one this one and this one and it works and you see 
it's pretty good I mean I don't need to do much of the things and it's pretty simple and obvious that how it's making the surfaces now some of the times students also worry about not making this profile and they make it in different sections we can work on that as well I will show you how to do that but for this video that's pretty much it and you can see that for now we are done with the wing and definitely we will work on improving the wing because this is not the ideal wing you can see there's a huge opening at the very end and from the side is not a wing should actually look like but is something that we need in terms of shape and size and you can see from the top as well if I unhide this and you can see that it perfectly aligns with the profile that we were looking for so now if I just want to have a look of how my plane gonna look like once I have it completed it's something okay not this one I think I, I need to delete some of the sections as well it's been a lot of confusion okay which is this one no not this one okay I'm just going to unhide it. Let's see. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one. Looks good. Yep, this is the one. And if you are kind of confused that where should it be properly aligned, and I'm just going to unhide. Uh, I'm just going to hide this as well and show you guys how it looks from the other side, from the opening side. and the best part about this is you can adjust the plane and move the profile wherever you want to it will come at a certain cost but it's still better because you can just simply double click and just you know or just move the point wherever you want to and the plane the entire plane and the sketch will move accordingly so that, let me try how would I mean let's say if I'm going to move it somewhere here so we're here let's say click OK so you can see that my entire sketch moved till there and it's just got expanded a little bit more through you, you can see that it is through the fuselage now and it's still the way we were looking for we can just mo modify this line according to trace this and whichever way we want to it's not a big deal and but still I mean you get my point that what we are looking for is what we can get according to the way we make the profile and that's the best part about it and you don't need to be OCD about making sure that the tracement is perfect because this is how it's going to be and if it looks good then it's that's what we want because it's just for designing and prototype purposes and definitely like all the designs and the wings profiles are already mentioned and given from the engineering point of view and in terms of designing that's what generally people follow to make sure until or unless they have something new to try out and that's how you will be making it as well so once again I'm just going to conclude showing you that this is what we did we made the wing today using the multi-section surface with just one profile and three guiding curves and in next video I will show you the same way but with different profiles I'm going to have three profiles having at three sections one two and at the very end that's going to give you a more precise uh, multi-section and also give, going to give you more opportunity to use it according to whatever size and whatever scale you would like to use it so that's that would be an interesting video as well so thank you so much for watching today take care and please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video and also show it to your friends and your people who are willing in willing to learn more and are engineering field more or less thank you so much bye